Hi everybody, I am Barry Owen, VP Engineering here at Wowza Media Systems, and we are live at NAB 2018. Uh, this afternoon, I am with Peter Mogg, who is the Chief Marketing Officer of High Vision, and I am here to talk with Peter about SRT. Um, Peter, why don't you give me a little background on SRT and, and why it was invented and how it's come from there to where it is now. Well, it's a, uh, how much time do you have? <laughs> right, so anyways, SRT, the acronym is for Secure Reliable Transport. High Vision's, uh, you know, fundamentally an encoder, decoder, video network company. And we had we have the challenge of getting high performance streams across any network. Actually, it came to me one year at IBC when, when you know, about 40 people came to me and said, okay, we've got to get down from, from satellite. And so we tasked the company with creating, with creating what, what we wanted really was a node that you could put at either end of any network workflow that would provide security, reliability, and a number of other cool features. So we came up with, we came up with the technology package, which is a technology stack and a protocol, and applied it initially to our, let's say, the high performance encoder decoder workflows to get H.264 across any network. And, and as an encoder vendor, you know how critical that initial connection is. So, I mean, our customers rely on performance and they want to, effectively, they want to, everybody wants to reduce their operational cost and get high performance streams from unlikely locations. Absolutely. Right, so that's the fundamental task. Over unknown conditions. Any conditions, right? Absolutely. So. So about a year ago, you came to Wowza and said, hey, we'd like to partner with you on SRT. And what happened then? Yeah, well, we've had a great long relationship with, with Wowza, and I was speaking to your CEO, Dave, and saying, listen, and, and I've always known as a company, you don't get anywhere without friends, right? So I went, to, I went to Wowza and I said, can we partner and get this technology out to more people, right? And so we had a bunch of discussions on how we were going to do it, and, one day it was it was your CEO Dave that that said, you know, you'd make this so much easier if you just open sourced it, right? And that was kind of the you know the light bulb moment of, okay, you know what? The spirit of getting any technology and any anything going in the market needs to be open source, and you need to go for wide scale adoption. So that was the you know the moment where last NAB actually exactly one year ago today exactly. at 9 a.m. we put the SRT technology stack into GitHub and made it open source. And that took some real courage by you guys though. It's, you're giving away a key piece of your technology on the hopes that it gets broadly adopted. Well, and even if it does get broad, broadly adopted, you know, the question I always get is how does it help high vision? You know, it's so so it was a, it's kind of a spiritual a spiritual thing that, you know, in order to survive you need broad scale adoption. In order for broad scale adoption, you have to give something away to the market. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and thus the SRT Alliance was formed. Yeah, and so High Vision and Wowza partnered at the SRT Alliance, which is kind of the umbrella to create and maintain the energy of the adoption of SRT. And so we partnered together, and that was the press release, you know, one year ago today. High Vision and Wowza bring this technology open source. So, so it's been that was that was a that was a huge momentous occasion, but kind of pales in comparison to what's happened in the year since then. And I think it's grown beyond either of our wildest expectations. Yeah, so, so. yeah, so as of as of today, I don't know what the number is, but there's 110 odd companies, 115 that have endorsed SRT as the kind of new go forward standard for high performance video streaming. And so these companies in their endorsement of SRT are you know, working to, towards incorporating SRT directly within their technology stacks to become what kind of my team calls SRT ready products and solutions. And I know that that some somewhere north of 30 have already deployed a solution to the market. Yeah, I think it's actually north of 40 now. I mean, we're walking around here at NAB and we actually- Announcing get, things left and right. We actually get surprised. Oh, this guy supports <laughs> SRT and we didn't even know it was coming. So awesome. that's- that's, that's kind of cool. We're not pushing it at this point. The market momentum is just taking it over. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, it, 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 it was, I remember back at IBC, it was one of the most talked about things, you know, the questions we got asked. That's yeah, it's, it's crazy. And um, so just to characterize the use cases of SRT, if I could take a moment. Absolutely. Right? And the, the kind of the 
a categorization of the member companies, there's really two types of companies that are really interested in it. I call them the streamers and the broadcasters. Yep. And I think it's equally impactful at both levels of the market. So you've got the streamers, certainly, you know, you know, the center of the wowza market, but you also have the broadcasters. Right. People are building high performance content contribution and content moving networks yeah, that are adopting SRT as well. Well, yeah, they have that layer between their origin and their middle or their org middles and their edges that they got to take care of. And they have the fundamental problem of getting video from one place to the other at a low cost. Absolutely. Right? And so that's. Oh, yeah, and, and bandwidth is becoming such an important thing right now. Yeah, exactly. Especially as the content creators are going to more different locations, not just the studio, right? So they're right. going to college sports or this or that. Yeah, absolutely. That doesn't have the, you know, the luxury of a fiber network. Yeah, for sure, like yeah. a high school stadium. Exactly. So t tell me, I, wa I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the cool new uses I've seen of the SRT API. Mm -hmm. And one of them is your own network adaptive encoding. So yeah. tell me how that came about and tell me how, how the API, which is open, enabled you to do that. Well, you know, as, as, a, as a node, right, and an open source technology, it does have an API. And it was always the spirit of the technology to, okay, we have the security layer. We've got the packet, packet loss recovery. And we also have the network characteristic detection. Once you have something at either end of a network connection, you can actually tell, okay, what's its latency? How much packets is it losing? Yep. And actually what the bandwidth is. So we actually just tied from the API of SRT itself, the detection of how much bandwidth you have to, oh, what's the bit rate that the encoder is outputting? So the encoder can ride the variable bit bit rate that you might experience at a remote facility. I think it's awesome. It yeah. you know, guarantees you're going to get the best thing you can possibly get. Exactly, but, but really more it's an example of where the technology is going and what people yep. are going to be doing with it because it is open source, it is API exactly. driven, very easy to commission, so, so we're, we're pretty excited about where it's going. What, what do you see next in SRT? What do, you, what do you see in the, you know, we're sitting here next year, where are we at? Well, I think, I think that you know, the initial wave of adoption of companies exercising SRT, they're taking the base package, right? And they're stabilizing it within their product offerings. And we're actually having a members meeting tomorrow, and all of the SRT members are going to discuss what they need next. And we're also going to discuss, okay, well, who's going to do the work? It is open source. It's not all, right. it's not all my challenge or my company's exactly. challenge to fuel this thing. So we're really going to get it into that collaborative area. And there's things like you know, resilient paths or this or that. There are all sorts of different um, issues that as people exercise SRT in a much more rigorous way, they're going to start discovering that they need more stuff and people are going to, are going to add it. And the, and the more we can get that community involved, the better it's going to be. You yeah, know, we and, want contributors. And it's actually very active. I think we've had um, 40 or 50 solid contributions through GitHub yep. into, the, into the open source, and it just means that the technology stack is just getting better and better every Absolutely. day. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool, so what else is going on here uh, at NAB in relation to SRT? Well, we have the, you know, tomorrow we have the members meeting, but we also have an open meeting where we've gathered a panel of SRT user experts to show how they're using SRT to overcome some fundamental challenges. And it's quite a panel. On the panel we have uh, ESPN, the NFL, uh, Microsoft as you know, key people who use and depend on SRT every day to get their job done. We also have um, Azuro who does a lot of remote interviews and Calabra, who's one of the open source ninjas in the market who have done a lot of work um, with the open source code and are uh, you know, responsible to a certain extent of its adoption within these open source platforms like VLC and GStreamer, yep. which are the fundamental of Absolutely. the engine builders. Right, so it's going to be a great panel. We're expecting a massive crowd. Uh, we, are, we have 500 people registered for a 250 person room. So it's, it's really a technology that's taking the market by storm. It's great. Well, save me yeah. a seat, I'll be there. Well, it's, it's, pretty, it's, pre it's pretty amazing. I can't wait to, uh, to host that uh, panel of experts tomorrow. 
Looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, Peter, thanks a lot for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Folks, I would encourage you to go to srtalliance.org for more information. Hopefully we see you at the events tomorrow. And if I could, I just want to thank Wowza for being our founding member partner and all of the Wowza users around the world who depend on your great technology to get their streaming challenge done. And, and thank you for sucking us in. We're happy you're here. <laughs>